tax refund update welcome back everyone so happy to have you back in today's update we are going to go over the amount of tax returns still waiting to be processed amended tax returns ipin numbers we are going to go over in-person appointment services and much much more november child tax credit payments make sure you stay tuned but before we begin as always make sure you're checking out the child tax credit playlist as well as the regular income tax refund playlist pinned in the comment section as well as in the description box for all of your updates and loads of helpful tutorials make sure you're checking those videos out now for today's update this information is being shared from irs.gov and that is where you can locate it where is your tax refund we are starting as always with a last week update a recap of last week which was november 12th at that time the irs reported 6.8 million on process individual tax returns and remember if you check out last week's video that number has been standstill for two weeks so this week though we have some good news as of november 19 update the irs is reporting a decreased number of 5.9 million on process individual tax returns on process individual tax returns include tax year 2020 returns with errors and those that require correction due to the recovery rebate credit amount or you using your uh, the uh, validation of 2019 income to figure your earned income tax credit and additional child tax credit it may also be delayed because it has mistakes including errors concerning the rebate credit missing information or there is suspected identity theft or fraud uh, the irs will fix all issues they can fix without contacting you if they do need additional information from you they will send notification by mail make sure you're checking for those notices if you have to respond to the irs by mail the resolution can take 90 to 120 days depending on how quickly and accurately you respond so it's very important that if you have to respond to the irs you make sure you are responding correctly reading the notices and providing them exactly what they need because if you have to wait uh for them to respond again and provide you another letter that you still need additional information then you're back to waiting an additional 90 to 120 days so i encourage you to make sure you're using the uh, tips in the uh, video in the playlist tips to speak with the irs updated to contact the irs to make sure you are not uh, waiting on uh correspondence through the mail the irs is not waiting on you to provide them information all right now let's move on to the amended tax return update as of uh, november 13 the irs is still reporting 2.7 million on process forms 1040x the irs has been stuck at 2.7 million uh on amended tax returns for the last three three to four weeks okay go back and watch the previous videos this number is not moving i'm not sure what is happening with the amended tax returns but the irs has been uh processing these returns really 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 slow if you uh, need to check the status of your amended tax returns make sure you're using the where is my amended return tool and not the where is my refund tool you can also contact them by phone at 866-464-2050 to check the status of your amended tax return now taxpayer assistance centers you can get in-person appointments uh and you can get appointments for services like to authenticate your identity documents when applying for an event an individual taxpayer identification itin number you can also authenticate yourself 
for e-services registration purposes uh, on that uh, you can do that in person as well when you need to check the status of your economic impact payment it says you can authenticate your identity when you are unable to use the online service so if you're having issues going through the authentication process online you can go into the office to do that so you are able to use those online services to check things like your third economic impact impact payment your child tax credit uh identity uh, child tax credit payment as well as identity pin you can do that in the office as well also if the irs send you a notice that you need to schedule an appointment then you need to schedule an appointment in person you can do so to get a departing alien clearance or sailing permit for foreign travel for resident and non-resident aliens leaving the u.s and to make cash payments for appointments you contact 844-545-5640 844-545-5640. Remember, when you call this number, the IRS will try to handle or resolve your issue by phone. They do not want to schedule in-person appointments. So I suggest calling the number because you may get your issue resolved. Now, moving on to the uh, taxpayer uh, advocate service all of those offices are closed you can only get taxpayer advocate services for financial hardship uh, or to get assistance with your delayed tax refund by calling 877-777-4778 all right so make sure you call the taxpayer advocate service if you are having financial hardship or you have been waiting an extremely long time for your tax refund remember as i mentioned in the last update they are no longer taking cases for amended tax returns so you cannot get help for those returns from the taxpayer advocate service now if you have to get your uh pin to file your 2021 taxes your ip uh, pin make sure you log into your account and retrieve your pin for this year because the irs is reporting a service outage with that uh tool from november 21st to january 2022 the service will be unavailable due to plant maintenance remember you need that pin uh an ipi uh, IP pin is valid for one calendar year. A new IP pin is generated each year for your account. So to file your 2021 taxes, you will need your new updated pin. So you need to log into your pin, uh, your account to do so and make sure you're doing that before November 21st because the service will be down until January 2020. Two. Now, the uh, November Advanced Child Tax Credit payment, you should have received that payment already. It went out and um, that payment was scheduled for the 15, but some of you received it early. Um, remember, the uh, last payment is December 15th, and those payments are for families 300 per month for each child under the age six and up to $250 per month for each child ages six through 17. If you want to make any corrections for your December payment, you need to go to the child tax credit update portal and make those changes by November 29th. All right. Now payments are going to eligible families who filed the 2019 or the 2020 income tax return and that uh, includes those returns that were processed by november 1st were reflected in the november's payment uh, also those people who use the non-filers tool as well your payments were included in november's payment uh, any families who receive the advanced payment of the child tax credit during 2021 can claim the rest of the credit when they file their 2021 federal income tax return so if you are still missing payment you did not get october's payment you did not get november's payment 
or if you did not get, you're still waiting on September's payment, any payments that you did not receive, you can claim the balance, the full balance. So you get the total credit that you are eligible for. You can claim that when you file your 2021 federal income tax return. The IRS will be mailing out letters 6419 documenting any advance payments issued to you during 2021 and the number of quali qualifying children used to calculate your payments. Make sure you are looking out for this letter. Make sure you are saving this letter because it will help you avoid making mistakes uh, mistakes when you try to claim the rest of the credit that you're entitled to when you file your 2021 taxes. You do not want to repeat 2020 by having your tax refund delayed due to making errors on your 2021 tax returns. All right. Now we are at the end of this video. Make sure you are liking Make sure you are commenting. Let us know if you receive your tax refund, if you have received your child tax credit payments. If you have not, let us know in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Come back for all of your tax refund updates, child tax credit updates, uh, stimulus updates, motivational Monday videos, as well as uh, check out the playlist on how you can get your credit report free from all three major credit bureaus. And I will see every one of you again very soon. Happy holidays. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. And I hope your refund is on the way. Bye-bye, everyone.